The EPIC study, EPIC stands for the evaluation of pimibendan in cardiomegaly. And cardiomegaly means enlargement of the heart. And we were specifically interested in seeing whether or not pimibendan delayed the time to the onset of signs of heart failure in dogs who had enlarged hearts secondary to a condition called mitral valve disease. Before the EPIC study, there wasn't really any agreement among cardiologists um, about the effectiveness of treatment in dogs before the onset of clinical signs. But what we have shown quite clearly is that the administration of pimibendan before dogs go into heart failure will benefit those dogs in various ways. Principally, what it will do is it will delay the onset of signs of heart failure, and so those dogs will live longer before they develop clinical signs as a consequence of their disease. One of the things that we built into the study design and one of the things that's quite novel about our study was that we planned an interim analysis. So we recognised that the study was going on for a long time and we wanted to make sure in conducting an interim analysis that we might know early if there was either an evidence of a detrimental effect of the medication or alternatively if there was very clear evidence of a benefit. So the study was carried out at 36 different centres internationally and one of the things that illustrates is that to, to conduct a study of this size actually requires a team of people collaborating together to make it work. The, the way that we found the dogs was that dogs who had murmurs that were characteristic of mitral valve disease were screened to see whether or not they met our inclusion criteria. And broadly, those inclusion criteria were the dog had to have a murmur that was louder than a certain level, so it had to be louder than a grade three murmur. They had to be proven to have valvular heart disease on an ultrasound examination, and they had to meet three different criteria to establish that their heart was definitely big. Now what we found at our interim analysis, which was conducted after, after about three and a half years of the study, was that there was such clear evidence of a benefit that we felt that it was no longer ethical for us to continue to withhold medication from the placebo group. Prior to the EPIC study, what people agreed on was that dogs who had reached the stage of congestive heart failure would benefit from treatment. And it's widely regarded that the optimal treatment for a dog in congestive heart failure would be a combination of several different agents. Typically, we would use a diuretic, we would use pimibendan at that stage of the disease, in addition to an ACE inhibitor and spironolactone. What's different now we have the results of the EPIC study is that there's evidence clearly of a benefit before dogs go into congestive heart failure. So we can now initiate treatment of, with pimibendan, not waiting for the dog to go into heart failure, but actually in an effort to prevent that happening.